Hey guys, it's Art Weston. I'm going to be doing a head-to-head -head competition today between Berkeley Trilane's Big Game Monofilament and Strand's High Impact Monofilament, both in 30-pound stated line classes. So um, I'm going to be doing a number of different things today. One is I'm going to measure their actual diameter with a caliper, and then I'm going to measure their mainline breaking strengths with this digital force gauge. So I've got this rudimentary table here. Um, so again, they're both 30 pound stated lines, uh, the Berkeley and the Stren. I'm going to measure their actual millimeter diameters. I'm going to test their mainline breaking strengths, and then I'm going to divide that breaking strength by the millimeter diameter to get kind of a uh, strength per millimeter measurement. The higher the number, uh, the better uh, in this case, and you could claim that to be the winner, quote unquote. Other things that I've tested prior to this video is their relative stre stretches, I mean. So the Berkeley Big Game stretches at about 22% at 80% of its breaking strength, and the high impact Stren uh, stretches at about 19.4% at 80% breaking strength. So that, all that means is the Big Game uh, is a bit stretchier uh, than the Stren. In terms of abrasion resistance, I've also tested that, and the high impact edges out the big game by about 8% more uh, abrasion resistant. So just something to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and start the test, and I'll try to be as fast as I can. Uh, I'm going to be doing the millimeter test here for the big game, so 0 0.56. I'll write that on the board, and it is going to come in slightly thicker than the strand, which is true, 0 0.55. Okay, now let's break the lines. So I'm putting the Berkeley in first. Both of these lines should be breaking in the 40, basically 39 to 44 pound range. Um, we'll see how the Berkeley does in this particular sample. Okay, broke at 38.8. You know, very close to that 40 ish pound estimate. I do suspect, based on other test that the strand will come in uh, reasonably higher than that, uh, definitely in the 40 pound range. And given its thinner diameter, you might uh, uh, come to the same conclusion I did that the strand is a bit of a tougher formula from a breaking strength perspective. So here we go. Forty-five point zero. Okay, so let's do the math on that. So the Berkeley at thirty-eight point eight divided by its zero point five six diameter has sixty-nine point three pounds, and I'll show you the table in a second of strength per millimeter, and then the Stren at forty-five pounds divided by. 0.55 is 81.81 pounds uh, of mainline strength uh, per millimeter. So obviously these are just single samples. Um, I have seen the Berkeley break a little bit higher than the 38, uh, but the 45 is pretty consistent uh, with my other tests. Um, and given the fact that the Berkeley is uh, consistently thicker than the Stren, and the Stren's uh, strength on multiple tests has been higher than the Berkeley's, the ratios are always going to be an advantage in the Stren line. So, um, you know, kind of take that for what it's worth. I would say they're still reasonably comparable, uh, but the Stren on a couple different characteristics may be more appealing. Uh, I, of course, know that the Trilane Big Game is very popular, so don't shoot the messenger here. Uh, but the Stren uh, appears to be a bit stronger in its formula from a mainline breaking strength perspective uh, relative to its diameter. Um, again, it's a little bit uh, less stretchy uh, than the Berkeley, 
um, and people have different opinions on whether or not stretch is good, um, but also the Stren has a bit more abrasion resistance uh, even though its um, diameter is smaller. So again, a couple uh, checks going towards the Stren line. So anyway, thank you guys.